Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a fantastic game to play that's gonna help you learn decimal place value. And all you're going to need is a deck of cards and one other player. Let's learn it, and let's learn it now. So I call this game Decimal War, and you are going to need two to four players. You are also going to need a pack of cards and you need to separate the cards by taking out the jokers, the queens, the jacks, the tens and the kings. So all of those cards need to be removed and that will leave you with the aces, the twos, the threes, the fours, the fives, the six, sevens, the eights, the nines, the tens. Aces in this game are equal to one. Once you've done that, you will then need to go over to a website which I will post in the description where I found this game mat, uh, mat and you will need to download the game mat. You can use a whiteboard if you want to, but there are two different versions of this game. Today I'm going to be play I'm going to be showing you how to play the tens, the units and the tenths. But on the other side of this, there is another version where you are just doing the units the tenths and the hundredths. And this game can be easily adapted to four digit numbers or even five digit numbers. The aim of this game is to create the largest number that you can using three cards. So at the beginning of the game, each player is dealt three cards. The cards will not be turned over until the end of the game. Okay, so each player will keep the cards private to themselves. So the player will look at their cards and they will decide, well, what is the largest number that I can make at the moment? So with the cards that I have been dealt, the largest number that I can make is 87.1. Now, once I've got my three cards, I can decide to do one of three things. I can either stick, swap, or steal. If I decide to stick, then that means that I am going to keep the three cards that I have been dealt. So I am going to keep 87.1. If I decide to swap, then I can choose to swap one of my cards with um, the, the bank of cards here. So I may choose to swap number one because that's quite a low number. So if I swap that and then take the top card off the top, okay, oh, well, I've ended up with the same number, okay? But Option three would be a steal. Now for a steal, okay, your opponent lays all three cards down on the table and they mix them up and then you choose one of the three cards. So I'm going to swap this card. I'm going to pick and swap this card. So he now gets that card and I now get this card, which is a seven. So I've just made a positive move there, okay? Once both players have had their turns, okay? So let's say that player two decides to um, swap with the bank, then now he has his three cards and we place our three cards down on the mat and we find out who has the largest number. And unfortunately for me, I have been beaten because my highest number is 87.7. And his number is 97.3. Thanks again for watching today's video. I hope that you did find the game that I introduced you to fun and exciting. If you're a parent, a student, or a teacher, and you did decide to go ahead and use this game, then please get in the comments down below and tell me how it went and uh, if you enjoyed it. Catch you in the next video.